Now on the night team, a teen badly hurt in an animal attack. First responders flying the boy to the hospital. Doctors fearing he could lose his leg or even his life. And to add insult to injury, this horrifying shark bite happened while he was celebrating his birthday. The 19th Raphael Pierce is live in Southwest Miami Dade, where that teen was taken. Raphael. Yeah, so that teen was brought here to Kendall Regional Medical Center's doctors. They had to act quickly. Thankfully, they were able to save him and his leg, but now his road to recovery is just getting started. <laughs> During the last two months, this physical therapy center has become part of 15 year old Lucas Cruz's routine. He's here several days a week working to get back to normal after a shark bit both his legs during a trip to the Keys. The Pinecrest teen was down there celebrating his birthday with family and friends. The morning of August 7th, they were lobster diving in Ocean Reef near Key Largo when out of nowhere. I kind of felt the push or pull feeling and I look, I thought it was a boat. I thought a boat hit me, but I looked above the water and I saw there was no boat. So I instantly kind of just, I didn't see my leg yet. I just knew it was a shark. All of a sudden I hear Lucas scream shark, shark. When everyone realized what happened, they quickly helped Cruz into the boat. And that's when I saw the back of his calf just totally missing and blood everywhere. And that's when I kind of lost it for a minute. Once I got into the boat and I saw my leg and I looked over and I saw my leg, then I thought there was a chance I was going to lose my leg. The boat captain putting tourniquets on his legs until they met with first responders who treated Cruz and then airlifted him to Kendall Regional Medical Center. He was near death uh, when he arrived. Dr. Mark McKenney says by the size of the bites, he believes it was a large shark that attacked Cruz. I had a tourniquet on and had a dressing on it. When we took it down, the whole middle part of the calf was missing. By the time Cruz arrived at the hospital, he had lost a substantial amount of blood. He was so white, he was as white as the sheets, actually. It was like stunning how pale he was. So the medical team had to move fast. A few extra minutes or if somebody wasn't uh, aware enough to put a tourniquet on, you know, unfortunately he wouldn't have made it. But after multiple surgeries, thankfully Cruz is expected to make a full recovery. And though he still has about a year of physical therapy left, he says it won't keep him from getting back in the water as soon as he can. A lot of what we do as a family has to do with the water on my mom's side and my dad's side. So I think if I just cut it completely out of my life, I'm going to be missing a lot. And Cruz was just recently cleared to go back to school. He is using a wheelchair to get around right now. But again, the good news is he is expected to make a full recovery. For now, reporting live in Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Rafael Pires, 7 News 19.